Today's project is a 2008 John Deere LA145 lawnmower. When we got this mower in, we found out that it had been abused pretty bad. Uh, the battery is up on it, but the key switch is bad, starter solenoid is bad. Um, you could even see where uh, the people who had been borrowing this thing from the owner had been uh, jumping it off with a screwdriver on the solenoid to get it to start. Uh, carburetor was plugged up beyond belief. It had to be cleaned. So we're going to tune this thing up. It's getting uh, some new oil, oil filter, air filter, pre-filter, three new blades, fuel filter, two spark plugs, starter solenoid, fuel pump, and a new key switch. After we get done with this mower, we're going to give it a bath too and uh, uh, really detail it. It looks pretty bad to be such a uh, a new mower. First thing I'm going to do is take an air hose set at 80 pounds of pressure and I'm going to blow all the crud out of this thing. Since we have to work on the electrical system and the fuel system and we might spill a little bit of fuel on the ground or on the mower, we're going to go ahead and start with the electrical system first because that's the thing that might cause sparks. First we're going to start with the key switch. It pops out real easy. It has these two prongs that you just push in and come right out. Check the back of it. Make sure it is the same switch. And it is. Pop the other switch back in. It's not a big deal. And plug it in on the back side. So here's the new switch. This is the old switch that's worn out. All right, moving on to the solenoid. Just pull the two wires off. Uh, there's only two bolts that holds this thing in here, but it's not going nowhere, so you don't need three. By the way, we're not wearing safety goggles when we do this. I think if you're one of those guys that wears safety goggles every time you do something in your garage, then you've got mental problems. I mean, there's times when you should, you know, of course, if you're grinding or something like that. If you're welding, you should put some goggles on, some welding goggles, but uh, nowadays, every time you do something, people say, oh, be sure to wear your safety goggles and your gloves and your boots and your uh, EPA and OSHA astronaut suit. This is the wire from the solenoid to the starter. Uh, well, the guy at the um, part store didn't give me the right size nuts. I mean, they weren't all on here. It takes four, and undoubtedly somebody's out there is going to say, right there they are, man, you didn't take them off the solenoid. No, those stay on. And then you have to have another one right here. And this is not going to fit on the post. I'm going to have to drill it out. Okay, I drilled out the terminal. It's up on the post. Found two more nuts. And there might be some people that say, he didn't even unhook it from the battery. Well, you know, if you want to unhook yours from the battery, go ahead.
Okay, there's the old starter solenoid, and there's the new one. And just going to check the key switch, see if the key switch and solenoid are working. They are. Well, this fuel filter is not really plugged up bad, but this is a tune-up, and that's part of it. So we're going to replace it. I cut the camera off while I was taking that old fuel filter out because it was really a struggle and I was ready to scream profanities that I can't even pronounce. But I finally got it. Okay, the old fuel filter with the new one in place. Well, the fuel pump is actually working right now. It's got a bolt missing here at the attachment point, but it is working. But this is a 2008 mower. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a new one. There's the old fuel pump and the new one. This motor has two spark plugs. Old plug, new plug. Gap. On the other side. Right here's the air filter, the old one, and the pre-filter. Looks pretty bad. I've got some new ones put in, but I'm going to wash my hands before I handle them. This is the pre-filter. It goes in first with the screen side down. This lays in there. And the filter. All right, let's pull the cap off the oil. Pretty simple oil change. Let that drain. Well, I'm gonna try to get the oil filter off without throwing a screaming cussing fit because some bonehead didn't lubricate the O-ring when they put the filter on. So it's like fused on there. So all you have to do is just kind of reach up in the motor there, put a little oil on that O-ring. You don't have to get out a big oil filter wrench, put this filter on, nothing like that. <sighs> Tighten it up with your hands.
All the oil's drained. All right, I got some multi purpose grease, and I'm just going to slather it all over this steering rack and pinion. So those gears don't slowly grind away. John Deere didn't put any uh, grease fittings on the steering. So all I can do is take a, a needle type. For the love of God, is it empty? So we're going to take a needle type greaser and we're going to pump it full. But they were nice enough to put some grease fittings in the king pins. Alright, well, uh, we got it all tuned up and got it cleaned up. You can see inside it looks like a uh, brand new lawnmower. No grease anywhere. <laughs>